guys, today I'm going to talk about all the animals I looked after this Christmas and I will tell you a little bit about each one of them. And that's basically it and I hope you enjoy it. So the first rabbit I'm going to talk about is Oliver. Oliver is a Hollander rabbit and he is living in the trio that came to meet 22nd of December 2016. He is the cuddliest one of them so he really likes to be petted but he's not a fan of getting picked up. He's a super happy rabbit and it never passes a day without me seeing him take a lot of binkies. He loves food and is a really curious rabbit. It is sometimes hard to get anything done in their room because he's always around my legs and when we are opening this door you can see right here he tries his best to get inside so we can see what he can explore in there next. The next rabbit is Mumphy. So Mumphy is the only girl in this trio and she is a, a tan rabbit and she is super adorable but don't get yourself fooled by her cute little face because this bunny is really clever and mischievous. She has broken out of their room once, I have no idea how, but she did it. I found her the next morning as she must have broken out during night, running around in the bed. And on top of that, she had peed several places in the bed as well. Luckily, she is easy to pick up, so it was no problem to, for me to get her back in their room. Mumphy has a lot of energy and she loves to jump on top of their cage, and she likes to show her happiness through Binkies. The last rabbit in this trio is called Heimdall and that's a really Norwegian name so that's why you probably haven't heard that name before. <laughs> so he is a pearl squirrel rabbit or that is what we call his breed here in Norway. If you know what breed he is, uh, comment down below what you call it. He is the calmer one out of the three of them. I have never seen him take binkies like the two others. However, that doesn't mean he's unhappy. He is just not showing his happiness as much as uh, the other ones. And that is uh, more normal for rabbits, I would say. Uh, he's a bit up and down when it comes to petting. The two others really enjoy it, while Heimdall sometimes like it and sometimes he doesn't. Heimdall is really curious and loves to be in the way when I try to sweep up their poop from the floor. The owners have seen some sights uh, on diabetes in Heimdall, especially since he's drinking an unnormal amount of water. But no worries, they will be taking him to the vet. Next up we have Bunny and Kosa. So Bunny and Kosa came to me 17th of December 2016. Bunny is the light colored long haired one. He is a male rabbit and he is the shy one out of the two of them. He loves to sit on top of their little wooden house and doesn't say no to treats. I have looked after Bunny and Kosa before and it feels like they remember me or at least they remember the place because they are a lot more confident now than they were last time. Bunny is such a good looking rabbit and he's the perfect model when it comes to taking pictures. I love to take pictures of him uh, because he just looks so good. His colors are amazing and the way he almost poses for the camera is so cute. Kosa is a female rabbit and she's a bit more outgoing than Bunny. Uh, when uh, Bunny and Kosa was next to Mullet and Wiggo, she marked their territory a lot. I'm not saying that is a good thing though because she is destroying their carpet by uh, peeing on it. She's a fan of sitting on top of their travel cage and she's a very curious rabbit which also loves her treats. I have a video from last time they were here where Kosa is performing her happiness. <laughs> to the two last rabbits, Mollert and Wigo. Mollert and Wigo came to me 7th of December 2016. Mollert is the brown female rabbit, she has a lot of personality, she's not a fan of other rabbits than Wigo and she's not afraid to show it either. She's super cuddly and she almost fell asleep while petting her and she also likes to lick my hands. 
While petting her, she stops, licks my hands, and then wants me to continue to pet her. Actually, I think the right word to describe her is diva. <laughs> the owners found Mollert on the street and immediately took her in. She is not a fan of being picked up, but she's very outreaching and forgives people quickly. Wiggle is white with brown and black details, and he's a male rabbit. All the female and male pairs and trios are all castrated, so no worries, there will be no babies. <laughs> Wiggle loves to be petted as well, and he's a really calm rabbit which accepts almost everything. The owner adopted Wiggle from the animal rescue to be Mollard's friend. Wiggle loves food so much that he has a tendency to eat too quick. He therefore can't get the oxbow pellets because it gets stuck in his throat. He is a bit clumsy and I was told that he doesn't jump up on their IKEA hall, however I have seen him jump up on it several times. Then we have the two guinea pigs Goldie and Marsa. It is not much to say about these two as they are a bit shy. I looked after them before when they were just babies but now they have grown a lot and the owner told me that they haven't 400 grams up in weight since last time. They are super cute and love their vegetables like most guinea pigs do. That is it for this video guys, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye!